What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and I will be breaking down uh, Dominic Reyes versus Yuri Pahowska, uh, or uh, I'm gonna just call him Yuri. <laughs> Hopefully, I said his uh, name right. That's a good fight right here, man. Good light heavyweight um, matchmaking, I think, for the main event. Uh, I think these guys are matched really, really well. But let's look where these guys are ranked. Obviously, in the light heavyweight rankings. Uh, Reyes is a former title challenger. He is number three. And Yuri, coming off his win over Volkan Ozdemir, is at number five. Um, so that's good. Yeah, five versus three. That's going to be cool. Uh, both guys, you know, have a lot to, you know, you know, to win and gain. And they also have a lot to lose. You know, Yuri loses this. It's like... Man, you Yuri fans are going to be heartbroken, bro. Like, y'all was doing all that talking about this guy's of some fucking mystical beast. And he has supernatural superpowers. And he's so cool, you know. Um, and if Reyes, you know. <laughs> I know, I just took a big dig at y'all. But uh, if Reyes loses this, I mean. Um, you know, I've I made a lot of Johnny Hendricks uh, comparisons with him. But, like, Hendricks had the strap, though, you know. So, like, I, I couldn't even say he'll be the next Hendrix. He'll just be another, you know, one-hit wonder. Um, no no disrespect to the kid. Uh, I know I've, you know... Here's the thing. I mean, Reyes fans, I mean, I don't know what happened to them. They they were six months... Or six, I guess, yeah, six months ago now. They were nonstop going crazy after, after that John Jones fight. And, um, you know, they're nowhere to be found now. And... You know, he still has his fans. I, I just think, um, you know, he loses this. It's, it's, it's. I mean, truly over for him. And, uh, you know, and, and I got a weird, it's a, it's a weird dynamic between this matchup because I did make an early prediction video or, or a breaking news video. You know, I kind of told you how I felt about this, but um, it's, it is what it is with this. But let's look at the stats, man, and how these guys match up with each other. Reyes does have a record of 12 and 2. He fights out of California. I, Actually, I don't know. He might fight out of California, but I know he's a Denver boy. I know he likes uh, you know, he likes Curtis Blaze shit. So yeah, I think he's from Denver. I think he said that he he does do some training with yeah, elevation to fight team. Um, he's thirty one years old. He's uh has a height of six four and a reach of seventy seven. So he got long arms. Um, Yuri on the other hand, twenty seven and three and one. I mean, as much as I might not like this guy's fans, I mean what. I mean, hell of a record, by the way. I mean, that, he has a dope record. I will say that. He has a really good record. Um, you know, fights out of the Zek Republic. I hope I'm saying that right. Age 28, um, height 6'4", and a reach of 80. So he does have a 3-inch reach advantage. The height is the same. Uh, in terms of notable wins for a guy like Dominic Reyes, and man, I could, you know, we could go off on his career and go on and on and on. But really, when he got on the scene, I think was it, it might have been the Jared Cannonier, I mean, victory when I first saw him. Um, you know, uh, then he fights, o, you know, OSP on the, you know, on the Connor Khabib card. And I mean, this is when I really got to like starting to dislike this dude, man. He was like, you know, Connor took my moment uh, over OSP, bro. <laughs> anyway, go check out that post fight uh, press conference. Yeah, he was mad about the. <laughs> Like no one, no one knows you, bro. Like what? Um, and then he fights Volkan Ozdemir, and this is when my hate started to grow for him. Um, and I felt like Volkan won this fight. I felt like it was uh, it was clear as day. I, I scored it two one. Volkan, Volkan had the takedowns. He was outworking him. You know, he was putting on good pressure. Reyes's knockout power wasn't really doing anything to him. Um, and yeah, I, I just thought Vulcan won this fight, but it was a, it was a close fight. But um, and I know some people get mad at me when I say you know Vulcan won it. It is what it is. Your boy got I, in my humble opinion. I mean, he got exposed here. You know, like I, there was a lot of high expectations in this matchup. Like, oh well, you know, he's probably going to destroy Vulcan Ozdemir, but Vulcan wasn't there to get smacked on, and he came out there winning that fight. Uh, it is what it is. But then he you know, he fights Chris Weidman. I mean, one of the biggest gimme fights of all time. It pissed me off how much of a gimme fight it was. I ended up going with Weidman. I was like, you know what? Maybe Weidman, he can out-wrestle him. Volkan Ozdemir had success there. Um, and Weidman did get the first takedown. I will admit that. He did get the first takedown. But um, 
I mean, yeah, he got caught with that straight, uh, that straight right. That the kid has a really good cross. I will give him that. You know, he backs up. He's he's a very interesting fighter. You know, he's very technical in certain areas, but he's very like, you know, very new in the sport. If you get what I'm saying, you know, like he he seems like he'll have moments where he's like, man, this kid's been probably fighting his whole life, but nah, it's like he's he's just an, he's naturally gifted in certain areas of the game. You know, his calmness, uh, his composure. I'll give him that. He's like as much as I've hated on him uh, for the Jan Blahovich fight. I mean, like the kid's a good fighter. I, I don't want to go off and you know. I hope like when people watch because my, my most popular video was that Jan Blahovich knocking that fool out reaction, and uh, I hope people don't come off and think I don't like the kid. I, I don't hate the kid. I just I thought you guys were getting a little annoying uh, because of this fight right here, and it's the John Jones fight. Um, I mean. I've never seen, I, I mean, a fan base grow out of nowhere. Like, you guys, I swear, I've never seen Reyes fanboys until, at, like, after this. And, you know, it's so crazy when somebody loses right after this, you know, um, they all leave him. But you guys were dick right in this, dude, saying nonsense like him versus Adesanya was the fight to make instead of him, ver you know, Adesanya versus John Jones. I never had any fantasies of that being a fantasy matchup or any dreams of watching those two fight. Um, but obviously a lot of you you people did and and then some, and then I get, somehow you guys started hating on John and and now you you wanted to put Reyes in the in in the mixture or whatever. But um you know, it was just a weird I I mean it was just a lot of weirdness going on, a lot of fake hype, a lot of just miscalculations by a lot of people thinking this kid is just something special like the problems that it, you know over his career just aren't blatant right and um i mean it's just it's just night as day and when he fought jan blahovich i did a breakdown on this and i don't know if the guy still kept his comments but i i got you know i dude you know someone wrote me a fucking essay in my comment section telling me this and that about you know how dominic race is the greatest of all time and you know just because of one performance and, um, you know, <laughs> you know, Jan just, I mean, if I've ever seen someone dissect somebody's game and just be like, wow, you're nobody and just go for it, you know, that's what Jan did. Like he, there's nothing special about Reyes. Like, I mean, like I've never seen, like people were making fun of this kid for calling himself a baseball player and saying just because he's a baseball player that makes him a good fighter. And then we started believing that because he had a good performance against John. It's like, it's so crazy. It's like. People will say a certain thing and they have no integrity to their statements. And just because, oh, just something happens, they lose faith in their own statements and their own opinions. And um, you could just see it. And it got exposed here. You know, he, he isn't, he doesn't have crazy knockout power. It's not, it's not like this kid's fucking Yoel Romero and he can jump off the fucking ceiling and shit like that and do flips. No, he's just, he, he's, I think where, what makes him... For him being an athlete, I think he learns things a lot quicker than a lot of guys. And I think he just has a natural composure. And I don't think he gets, uh, you know, I don't think the pressure gets to him as much as some other guys. And he does well in the spotlight. That's the only thing I, I think that his athletic career or his failed athletic career in football or baseball. Um, I, it's not failed. I shouldn't say that. But um you know, or, you know, his past experiences, they're kind of helping for fighting, but he's not no crazy athlete, you know, he's not, he's not, I'm, I'm saying, sorry. he's not no crazy athlete, I'm sorry for the interruption, by the way, you already know this computer's acting up, but if we look at a guy like Yuri Pauska and what he's accomplished, I mean, in the, you know, well, in his whole entire MMA career, he hasn't, he's only had one fight in the UFC, but, I mean, he's fought some good guys, man, he fought my boy Vadim Nemkov in 2015, outworked him, uh, you know, I thought Nemkov was doing really, really good. It was just uh, when he got to the ground, he gassed himself out. And there was just a moment in the fight where he just could not get up. And he's so gassed. Obviously, if they do run it back, um, he would give him problems. But, you know, that's the thing about in this matchup, he has a really good killer will, a, a killer instinct. Um, there are some things I don't like in his game, the way he strikes, the way he takes shots, the way he even acts sometimes. But, um, you know, he has the will to win. Uh, and he's very, you know, and because he's in Ryzen and the way they kind of score fights, you know, I feel like he'd do better in the later rounds, you know. Um, I don't think he'd do great because he's just super, like, he's just a weirdo. 
But uh, but yeah, but my boy King Mo, he set some shit straight. <laughs> he set some shit straight. King Mo went out there and knocked this fool out. And he taught him a valuable lesson. Get to get your defense straight. And dude, he knocked his fucking ass out. I mean, it was beautiful. I was so happy. I was so happy when I watched this, bro. So happy for King Mo. Um, but it is what it is. He does actually run it back with King Mo. He ends up knocking him out in the third round. And it, he just kind of shows his uh, improvement in his game. Then he fights CB. Well, I, he fought some other people in between. We fight for CB Dalloway. This was a joke, man. I mean, CB Dalloway was just done, so And, you know, and it is what it is. Um, but then he fights Volkan Ozdemir. And I think this is the fight I'm really going to talk about a lot. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, I rewatched this fight. And I just, here's what I think. I think Volkan Ozdemir, he won the first round. He was out jabbing him. He was tagging him. Uh, he was hurting him a little bit. Because he's just, you know, he was doing these weird things where he'd keep his hand near his crotch and be like, hit me in the chin or something. Like I don't know. He's doing a lot of stupid stuff, right? And um, I think Volkan Ozdemir, I think, was like, whoa, this dude is retarded. And um, I'm just going to do my thing. And I'm not going to care anymore. I'm going to knock this fucker out in the second round. And he gets caught with, I mean, a, I mean, a really, I mean, thudding uh, high kick, right? And it's just it's one of them high kicks that kind of just, like, it stays there. Like, the kick is still on your neck. And he got caught with one of those. And, you know, that's all Vulcan. And then he ended up proceeding to get, he was, he was hurt. And then he got dropped, got knocked out. And, um, you know, with a really good shot. But, you know, the, the, the fight was an embarrassment to watch. Like, this dude's a weirdo. Obviously, he won. And that's what all people care about. And they call, care about the knockout. But it's like, dude, like, huh? <laughs> like, this guy is supposed to be 10 times better than Reyes. Like, and it's just like, or he's supposed to be 10 times better than Rakic. And Rakic is scared to, dude, Yuri. Oh, Rakic is shaking in his boots. You know, um, I mean, I've I've just I'm I'm just shocked. I'm shocked how you guys I mean have made this man a god almost. And um, it, you know, I I don't think he's that good. Nor do I think Reyes is the greatest of all time. Like you guys said a while back. But here's the the fact. I think even though there is a there is an experience gap here, but there is a skill gap also. I truly do believe Dominic is the better and the more skilled fighter out of the two. But here's the facts. Dominic just got knocked out in his last fight. He is coming off a broken nose. Uh, he did suffer a lot of damage. Yuri, on the other hand, is coming off an impressive knockout. He's really, really confident in himself. And, um, you know, he's been looking pretty good. I think really Yuri can win this fight in the in the in probably the first two rounds, right? And try to get a knockout. And he's still live for the 4th and 5th. Where he can try to outwork Reyes. Reyes hasn't shown the greatest cardio in the world. Um, but. And I don't think. The and like the physical intangibles. I think they all go to Yuri. I think Yuri is going to have. A more killer intent. I think he's going to have. Somewhat. I think he's going to have better cardio. I really do. I don't think Reyes is going to wrestle. In this matchup. Even though Reyes does have a wrestling background. I don't think he's going to. I don't. I just don't, um, and all, and and that's just how I feel. And I just feel like um, when it comes to the striking, I think Yuri will have a better. I think he just have better pace, and he'll just have better cardio. Um, but here's the thing, and he can catch Dom. He really can. Um, you know, looking at what happened, uh, you know how Jan Blahovich handled him. I think Yuri can do that uh, to Dom in those first two rounds. That's one way. I can see him getting an early knockout. With Dom, I just think Dom, even though he is dealing with a, a reach disadvantage, he has to pepper him with that jab. He has to be superly, I mean, I said superly. I said he. Ha I feel like he has to be, you know, basically defensively responsible in there. You know, proper angle switches. Keep your hands up. He always keeps his hands up. You know, protect your body so he doesn't get kicked with all them fucking body shots. I Doubt Yuri's gonna take him down. Though. I really doubt it. I don't think he's gonna do it. Um, I think Reyes will be ready for it, and I, I just feel like Reyes will. If Reyes doesn't get caught up in a brawl, he can beat this guy. If Reyes doesn't get 
almost like kind of dumbfounded by this guy's style and the way his faints and almost like I he just acts like a weirdo in there. Um, I think, you know, he he can win a decision, just outwork this guy in certain areas. And yeah, just, you know, be the better technical fighter. I think that's where it comes down to. Um, you know, can Reyes prove that he's the more technical fighter and can Yuri use his power to win the fight? I think Reyes will use his uh, ability as a technical fighter to win this fight. I, you know, I was, you know, the thing is, I watched some tape uh, on this and, th- and I just came to this conclusion. Like, the guy Yuri is very, very good, but like, he's not the GOAT, and I'm sorry, and nor is Reyes, but um, I think Reyes wins this. You know, Reyes really needs this win. Yuri loses it. It's, it is what it is. Um, can Yuri win? Yeah, I truly believe it, but I, you know, and do I want him? I do want him to win, Look, I was thinking about picking him, but I just, I was just looking at the tape. It's like, man. I don't think so. I, I I'm not I'm not a believer on this kid. This kid needs to really prove something to me, um, and I I just I just feel like, you know, I, yeah, I would love for him to beat Reyes and knock the and knock him out, and then fight Rakic, and Rakic will handle business. I know Rakic will destroy him, but um, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I I just I do not think, you know, he's better than Reyes right now. Even though Reyes isn't the best, I just do not think so. Um, I got Reyes taking this by decision. I think Reyes is just going to outwork this kid. Um, I think when all the loopy and the stupid shots he's throwing starts missing and he starts hitting air, you know, he's going to get, he's going to start wondering how do I fight? And then he's just not going to do his thing and he's going to get, I think he's going to get lit up. He, you know, Reyes is live for a finish. I think Reyes can get a finish. I think he can catch him, but, um, Yuri has a good chin. He's a zombie in there. It's almost like, um could kind of compare him to Korean zombie kind of his style but um but I I just I think Reyes takes this done I guess it gets this done by decision hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> I know I was just stumbling around my words for a second but it is what it is uh go follow me on my Twitter follow me on my IG on my Instagram all those links will be down in the description box below like comment share love y'all and goodbye <laughs>